Welcome to this tutorial on using on solving simultaneous equations with x squared and y squared terms and also quadratic inequalities. Now I'll start with the first question that I've got here which is um, y equals x minus a and x squared plus y equals 4 and what we need to do is we need to work out the corresponding values of x and y. Now if we rearrange this equation then we will get x equals y plus 8 and we already know that x squared plus y equals 4. So as you can probably guess, what we could do is we could substitute y plus a into x squared plus y equals 4. And that is what we are going to do. Now you could also do it by you could also do it in terms of x, but I've done it this way even though it's harder just to give you more of a sense of because most questions won't just give you a single term, you will have to expand the brackets. So what you should end up with is y squared plus 16y plus 64 plus y equals 4. So therefore we end up with y squared plus 17y uh, plus 60 equals 0. Now we've, now we've got to work out precisely what y actually is or what the two brackets are. Now we know that it must be and we know that it's y and y because it, it obviously can't be more than that value of y. Now the answer is y plus 12 and y plus 5. Now we know this because um, 12 times 5 is 60, 12 plus 5 is 17. So therefore we know that y is now minus 12 and y equals minus 5. So we're just going to move this up here, and we're going to take another equation. We're going to take our original equation. So we know that x equals y plus 8. So therefore, x must be equal to minus 12 plus 8. X equals minus 4. Or we'll take and we'll um, take the other one as well. So x equals y plus 8. X equals minus 5 plus 8. X equals 3. Now there you go, now we have our two terms, so if we're going to put these as um, as coordinates, it's minus 4, 12 and also 3 minus 5. Right, so just to have a quick recap, what we've done is we've um, sorry, excuse me, I'll get the picture um, what we've done is we've rearranged the equation to get it in terms of x or in terms of x or in terms of y in this case and then we've substituted it into the other equation, expanded it, then we factorised it to find our terms of y and then we've worked out our terms of x from that. Right then, I'm going to talk about one other thing and that is quadratic inequalities which are very, very popular on the C1 paper. They're normally, they're, in fact they are always worth 4 marks, always will be worth 4 marks. Now, we're going to take x squared minus, minus x minus 6 must be greater than 0. That's what I'm going to do. Now, first of all, as you can guess, we might need to factorise it. Now, we do, now, the factorising is x plus 2, x minus 3. As you've probably guessed, could be plus 2x minus 3x minus x. So, therefore, we end up with an x value of minus 2 and an x value of 3 as I'm sure you know because you'd make them equal to zero and then work it out that way. So now what we've got to know, no, okay, first of all we get a mark for factorising it, then we get a mark for working out the x terms. Now we must do a sketch graph, excuse my poor axes. So now we know that it's minus two and three, minus six. So now all we've got to do is work out effectively where this is bigger than zero. So we'll just, well sorry, where this is bigger than zero. Now, it's not here, and it's out here. Now, in order to work, so in order to solve the equation, what we need to say is we need to say that x is greater than 3, and x must be less than minus 2. It's got to be two separate inequalities. Just to recap on that, what we, when you have your quadratic inequality, you factorise it and then work out your x terms, then you plot a sketch graph, which is worth another mark, and then you have to, and then you work out um, at which points on the graph actually satisfy the inequality, and then from that you can write it as that. Uh, you can write it in order to solve the inequality. Now, 
interestingly, if it was written as, just right over here, x squared minus x minus 6 is less than 0, then we'd still, the working would all be the same, but our answer would not be that. Our answer would be um, minus 2 is less than x, which is less than 3, because um, because it's minus between minus 2 and 3. So we'd write it as a single inequality, whereas here we've had to write it as two separate inequalities. Thank you very much for listening. I hope to see you next time.